Moon Pluto. I was just talking about this aspect with somebody, and I decided I should probably cover this next for my moon series. And I apologize. I have a sinus infection right now, so I'm really kind of sounding a little bit stuffy. But this is an interesting aspect. Um, when you add your emotional nature into Pluto energy, and I mean that by any aspect, so whether or not you have a trine or a sextile or a square or an opposition, any of them are going to operate very, very similarly. It's just going to be more so a matter of um, if the energy is kind of working together or apart, um, whether or not it's causing some sort of friction or it's kind of aiding you in the development, I guess you could say, of your moon. Moon and Pluto together are an intense combo. You're dealing with your emotional nature as well as Plutonic powerful energy. So anybody who has their moon and Pluto in aspect together is really dealing with intense emotions, and I mean very, very intense emotions. When people have the moon and Pluto together, you can almost see it in their faces. I was thinking about this as I was looking at celebrities who have moon Pluto together. We're looking at people, um, well, for the conjunction especially, people like Jodie Foster and even Edgar Allan Poe, people who are able to really cultivate emotion in a very, very raw and sometimes dark and sexual kind of way. That is especially true of like Jodie Foster. If you've seen her in uh, films, she is incredibly raw and she's not afraid to plunge into the uh, depths of your soul, I guess you could say, and even her acting experiences pretty much reflect that. Edgar Allan Poe, reading his poetry, you can see he's a very intense guy. <laughs> um, the moon and Pluto together really just, anything that Pluto touches, it amplifies the energy of, it adds power to it, it uh, blows it up in a sense, but it's more so in a way that it just makes it that much stronger. If you're dealing with a positive aspect, Pluto's really aiding in your moon energy, but at the same time, there still can be downfalls to that as well, even in the most positive aspects like the trine or the sextile, um, just because you are feeling things so incredibly deeply. With a square or an opposition, it can be a lot tougher. You can see a little bit of the potential negative aspects of Pluto in somebody's personality. They might be a little bit emotionally manipulative. They can be very much so emotionally in control and even feel the desire sometimes to control others. The conjunction isn't really positive or negative in my opinion. I actually have this myself. Um... I think it just really adds a depth to your emotions. When you feel things, you feel them very deeply. It's not like, I mean, much like Scorpio, there's no um, mid-ground there. You are black or white. You are all or nothing. You're going 100 miles per hour or you're at a stoplight standing still. That's the emotional nature of somebody with Moon and Pluto together. And like I said, regardless of the aspect, it's still going to be true in a lot of ways. The more negative ones can just cause a little bit more of a complicated uh, feeling to that, whereas your Plutonic, powerful energy isn't really vibing that well with your Moon. Um, there can be kind of a back and forth, like with an opposition, where you're seeing somebody display more of their emotional nature up front, or more so kind of gripping for power in a sense. But regardless, the moon and Pluto together is incredible for people who go into fields where they're doing something that is very in-depth, whether that be research and kind of uncovering secrets, um, either in like the psych field or even doing something like uh, archaeology, even I would think digging up old truths, I guess you could say, um, but also in the creative fields, artistic fields, writing fields, acting fields, anything where you really need the ability kind of to uh, display emotion in a very, very strong and powerful way. So yeah, that is the moon and Pluto together in aspect. Oh yeah, the other thing that I do want to add to about moon and Pluto together is that Pluto in aspect to your moon, you're dealing with an emotional nature that is transformative. Once you reach that point, once you get to the point of being incredibly emotional, very powerfully emotional, it normally spikes growth. It normally causes you to transform. I don't necessarily see this like uh, in a regular sort of emotional sense where like you're just getting upset and then that's causing you to transform. It's normally during the kind of plutonic breakdown um, series, I guess you could say. Anybody that has Pluto prominently in their chart knows what I'm talking about. Transformation process is never really a pretty thing, but 
when your moon is an aspect of Pluto, your emotions are really aiding in that as well. So there can be a lot more turbulence kind of in a sense, just because what you are experiencing emotionally is causing you to transform on a very large scale. So yeah, that is pretty much the moon and Pluto together. Sorry about that. 